Hey y'all, this is Cliff with the Dusty Cliffs, and today I want to give a little update on some of the projects we've been working on. Go over some new gear that we've uh, gotten for the get home bag. Go over a new gun that I recently picked up. Maybe do a little update on the coronavirus lockdown here in Ohio. So, let's get started. Okay, one of the new things that we have going on is I brought a receptacle in into the Dusty Cliffs headquarters, a.k.a. the garage, from the solar panel. So now I am running this lighting up here. Also running this TV that uh, I'm currently watching a, an old movie on YouTube. So we're getting the we're getting the solar kind of somewhat figured out, making some progress with that. I did go buy a new battery from the same company that the solar panels came from, and it's working great. It's snowing out right now, so I'm going to guess that uh, I'm not going to get a whole lot of solar charge on that battery today, but it's coming along. Okay, I've been carrying this uh, little low-budget folding stove with the fuel tabs in my get home bag I work a long way from home so if there is a situation where I need to walk I felt like this would be really time consuming tedious so I updated to the Coleman Peak one and this uses the uh, butane propane mix fuel can this I can have water boiling in a matter of minutes where this a lot more involved in trying to get this to boil water a lot of the times I tried this I was unsuccessful and those fuel tabs seemed to put off like a soot that would get into the water so I wasn't real happy with that so in a pinch this would work but I feel like for getting home not doing bushcraft or going out camping but for getting home something like this a lot faster a lot easier fast and easy is what I'm looking for so I've been playing around with this a little bit seems to work really well also updated my water filtration and my wife is really grossed out because I've been drinking the water out of the pool cover because the pool cover is sunk in from over the winter all the snow lays in there leaves uh, we've had some warm days so I'm sure there's some mosquito larvae in there also so I've been using this uh, the Sawyer Mini and I didn't do a video and I'm not gonna do a video on this there's so many videos out there this thing obviously works so what I've been doing is just learning for myself what the good setup is some guys had some really good info on using the smart water bottle to actually fill with the Sawyer Mini. So that's where we're at with that. We've got a new stove, new water filtration for the get home bag. Feel a lot more comfortable with these things here. And like I said, I've had a lot of time been playing with them. So let's move on. Okay, one thing about being at home, having some time is you come up with ideas for some quick and easy things but this bag was for stakes for a pop-up blind well the blind has been out for years has been destroyed the blind is no longer around so I wanted to use this bag for something so I made a small kit so I have some fire. This is a buck knife out of one of those $20 collectible kits that you get at Walmart. Uh, nothing special, but I did carry this for a while just to test it out, and it actually holds an edge very well and it resharpens very well. So I threw that in there. This is just a, the Frontier version of a straw water filter. This is just a quick and easy way to get some hydration. And I got about 20 foot of paracord. Also in the bottom, 
have an emergency space blanket. This thing is very large. So between this and some cord, I could definitely shelter in for tonight if I needed to. And the bandana can be used as a head wrap, mouth covering, or if needed to, in some ways, get some particles out of the water. Now the only thing I didn't have was a container, but this bag is lined. So this bag would hold just under a liter of water, which would be good enough for me to get the straw, have this bag, and not have to stick my head down in a creek or in a pond or in a puddle. So just something I'm working on, playing around with. So let's move on. Okay, so I know y'all been waiting on the gun part, so here it is. This is a uh, PSA upper, and it does have the Anderson lower, which seems to be a very popular setup because both are affordable, both work. And this is an AR pistol, and I believe that's a seven and a half inch barrel. So that means it's going to be very freaking loud. But I can't wait to get out and shoot it. I have not shot it yet. I did throw the Magpul MBUS sights on there. And I believe that it is now you cannot shoulder that. So I'm going to see how bad my cheek takes that. I'm thinking about putting the shockwave, shockwave blade on this. Let me know what you guys think about that. Also had another question for you guys. On my plate carrier, I have a med pouch for my plate carrier. Does that go on the front or should it go on the back? I'm not a real tactical person. I just learn as I go. So throw me a comment down there. Med pouch front or back? Oh, but yeah, this right here, I think this is going to be fun. It does have the forward assist. It has the brass deflector. And it does have the dust shield. So it's got everything that you would want. And I also found out that... Be right back. All right, this is a paracord strap that I made for a muzzleloader possibles bag. And it's just got two carabiners. This little pistol has the setup on the back and that is pointed over my shoulder, not at me. So it actually works perfect. I think I got it over the wrong shoulder, but hang right there. Let me redo that. All right, and I made this adjustable. So if I need, wanted it to come up a little higher, right there it is. Woo, man, I look sexy with that, don't I? Right there, look mysterious and stuff. All right, but that's just my update video. Lockdown here in Ohio's uh, starting to ease off a little bit. The gun stores are starting to open up limited hours but if you are if you're looking for gun parts ammunition go to the website of your gun store and see most of them have a page there to tell you maybe they have limited hours or maybe you can call them and set up an appointment which is some of the local ones here are doing so you can order your stuff over the phone go and pick it up so that's not a complete lockdown here in Ohio. You can still get some of the stuff that you're looking for. I just picked up a uh, 
thousand rounds of five five six yesterday. Uh, called it in, went and picked it up. Took ten minutes. So don't give up. We're gonna make it through this. So y'all come back and we'll talk some more.